Honestly, uh, after talking with a lot of businesses over the last couple months with the new facility in mind, a lot of them have said they just are looking for people that have passion. They're looking for people that know what it takes to be committed, people that know what it takes to, be, to show up on time, to keep a job, and to grow. Uh, they have said that a degree is more attractive to them when they're hiring. They want people that aspire to do more, to be better, to be bigger, but they need to make sure they have that middle associate filling it right now, which is the biggest lack in Richmond, is those people that want to be a prep cook, those people that want to be a line cook and can do it for a couple years to get their chops, if you will, and then start to look to grow and, and the opportunities will provide themselves at that point. I'm actually really excited about the new project, I wish I could be around still for that, but it's really going to benefit the students because we're going to have top-of-the-line top technology. Uh, not only is it going to be new and, and in a great area and all these different things, but the more space allows us to teach things a little more distinctively. Upstairs you've got, you got like the basic, the grill, the flats out, you got a steamer, but it's like it's hundreds of different things they have. You can have like gardens, growing the food. You can have like smokers, grills, and all, everything. Like, it's hundreds of things you can add to what we got now. Uh, the kitchen we have here, just if you can see the glimpse behind me, it's your normal standard kitchen that you're gonna see in most hot kitchens. But what about baking and pastry, for instance? So we'll have a, a kitchen that focuses on baking and pastry type equipment and things that are gonna give them a more connected understanding of the industry and where they wanna go when they're done. The students are gonna have a better environment in terms of being able to not only attend class, but cook and serve in a cafe setting, learn more about um, growing our own produce and doing stuff like that. In the new space, we're bound to have things that we can plan or open kitchen space to do something for the community to come in and observe. Uh, increase their home skill sets, even come in for an informational session where they're able to get information on what culinary means. I'm excited because I feel that JSHAR just giving the culinary program the opportunity to really be as great as it could. And then it also show our community that culinary is a very vibrant industry and it's not necessarily the celebrities you see on television, it makes it real life. And then those who have the desire, maybe if they don't want to be corporate chefs, but they want to know, they want to learn. Jay Sarge educates everyone on every level. But with the space, we not only can grow students, that's pretty obvious, we can offer more resources for the students, uh, like a career center, internship service, and, and exploration, and so forth. We can also uh, do an a la carte kitchen, where the students will physically be serving food, they'll be served to guests, and there'll be a dining room class that runs the dining room to simulate a restaurant. We'll have a market where students can do a rotation through there once a week to get that actual hands-on industry experience that's not teaching focused only. And then in recent years, chefs have bought land or converted their rooftops for gardens and you know, hyper-local sourcing's big. So we're gonna have on-site a greenhouse producing certain types of vegetables and produce that we can use within the kitchens that connects that farm to table concept. My favorite part of being in the program is being around the fresh ingredients, the food. Like it, it just feels good when you got fresh food, you know where it came from, and then you get to cook it. You can go all through the process. It's fun. Well, in culinary, I, I love it. I love the fact that it's very hands-on. I am a returning student being older, and I really appreciate the fact that everything is real life. You're always in the kitchen, all the instructors, are very current and up to date and they bring their real life scenarios to the kitchen. It's not just book work. I also love the same with horticulture because by the campus being there, it's accessible. You're really getting in the dirt. You get to watch something from start to finish. You become more in tune with the entire process. So by being a culinary student, I have more of an appreciation of what's actually happening. I personally live in the East End and I think that it would definitely help build and enlighten the community. Um, for me, I think it gives hope because of the area that the Culinary Institute is going to be located is a very urbanized area. And I feel that it will encourage people who may not have never thought to go to a full university or to extend past high school. It will give them an opportunity to see that people in their community have done that. They've taken that step. So necessarily it may not be culinary, but they see how Reynolds is invested in a community that a lot of times is overlooked. 
So they're giving hope to people who may not have had it before, and then also showing how positive uh, programs can be, especially if they're community focused, they're skill set focused, and they're also encouraging a trade. You've made my opportunities unlimited now because you've invested in a part of the city that's forgotten about. You know, food brings people together. It, it creates a camaraderie, come, kind of creates an ease, and it also forces understanding. So when you talk about cultures or just different regions of the Richmond metro area, Everybody's got their own concept idea based on kind of where they grow, grew up or live currently or how far they may have traveled or not traveled. So from West End and even from Fredericksburg area where you have students in Petersburg, it brings all those concepts and ideas together around the concept of what makes food servable, what makes it good, and what makes you be able to sell it for profit. Um, our chefs really give us the building blocks. So we start small, we start with the knife cuts, we move to the, the sauces, and then we move on to different um, food items, and now we've come to where we are now, where we're putting it all together. And so I think um, it gives us a lot of momentum as students, and now coming towards the end and with our big final project, I think um, it'll be really rewarding because we've climbed every step and we'll kind of reach the top but then really it's not the top because we'll go out in the industry and keep building upon that so I think it's a really awesome program the way they structure it like that.